Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. In this session, we are going to discuss about the tactical part of marketing as applied to services. In the last session, as you know, Professor Mishra discussed about uh, how the marketing mix uh, gets deployed uh, with two specific examples he illustrated. Uh, the finer points of that tactical part of marketing mix deployment, taking the example of uh, Tata Nano and uh, Honda uh, Activa. Uh, in his session, as uh, you would have noticed, he started with the concept of customer need, because that is core to marketing that everything starts with the need of the customer and the value proposition from the marketer in response to that need, which exceeds the customer's perception of cost that he or she is going to bear to acquire that value proposition. So, in services also, it starts with that need sensing. But there are some interesting differences uh, that we are now going to illustrate with this example of Disneyland. Uh, many of you uh, uh, have visited Disneyland or you have seen Disneyland in movies uh, or in TV programs and uh, I think uh, most of you might have also gone to various theme parks which worldwide are very heavily influenced by the uh, process uh, concepts of uh, Disneyland. So, when we sense the need in case of product, we try to respond to those needs by various uh, product features and attributes. Some of them are functional and utilitarian and some of them are uh, emotional. Uh, but in case of uh, service, that focus is actually on process. So, if you see uh, this example that is in front of you on the screen, that uh, Walt Disney, when he created Disneyland, he from the very beginning focused on the values, morals, the creativity. Uh, the psychographic need fulfillment, awareness of customers needs and fulfillment. So, the excellence in fulfilling that customers need was put at the primary place, everything else was uh, supposed to follow out of that. So, uh, what is the price of the product versus what is the cost of the product that was not the emphasis when uh, Walt Disney designed the entire Disneyland, but the focus was on experience excellence. So, this shift from attributes to experience is a very important shift that that shift is very clear in product versus service, but in a way today even product market is moving towards experience economy. When we discuss various changes that are happening to the concept of marketing, uh, maybe towards the end of this session, uh, this is one topic that we will take up. And in uh, 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 at any of the Disney uh, establishments, the commitment to customer is always very clear. For example, many customer may want some special facility, may they may say that you know they, they have a flight to catch, so the, can they jump the queue. or uh, can uh, uh, there can there be some kind of a discount uh, for some of the special shows, etcetera. Now, 
very interesting uh, uh, concept that Disney introduced and now practiced in various kinds of uh, service uh, functions is that even when you want to refuse the customer, that denial is put in a very positive way. So, I have seen it myself that if a customer is not able to, there is a long queue in front of one of the special shows and a customer says that uh, he or she has some need, um, uh, some time pressure, they will not short uh, jump the queue, they will not give the customer some kind of a bypass. In these respects, they are really very uh, strictly democratic. But I have seen that they will say, uh, uh, you know, this show is uh, overbooked and sorry, we can't actually allow you to go forward. But why don't you come to this other show where seats are available and it's going to start in five minutes and we'll put you uh, and they will actually call an internal vehicle and put the customer and his family on that vehicle. I've seen it myself. This is the concept of uh, positive denial, which is uh, uh, one of the uh, great uh, concepts that they have, what we call positive alternative to saying no. And so many uh, shows at Disneyland are based on uh, imagineering. That means engineering which actually actualizes imagination. And uh, uh, you can go to YouTube and see many of these uh, uh, Disneyland, uh, Disney World uh, shows and you will understand what I mean that they, they are engineering response to customers imagination. They have come up with um, uh, concepts like gestology. So, it is you know like uh, theology, uh, like biology. So, this is actually almost like a, uh, like a, like a religion, like a mantra uh, of their whole uh, operational concept. And so, this uh, the way they focus on staff training, um, the way uh, the staff are not called employees or uh, they, they are actually called associates. Uh, they are often given uh, different types of uh, leadership training and crowd handling training. So, there are a lot of investment goes into the people and this brings to you two very, very important points in deploying marketing, the tactical part of marketing in services. One is this much higher level of emphasis on people, that is uh, the, the, the staff, the training, the human resource development and so on. And the other is creating uh, wow moments, moments of delight which are embodied in such a way uh, in, in through evidences that you will be able to recall it uh, for a long time. So, there are some special shows uh, which are uh, uh, available at Disney World or Disneyland and these places and you go to that show and at the end of the show you will have this uh, sense of wonder, sense of wow and you will also get a, some small token. So, when you go back home and you look at that small token, a, you know a, a, a small doll or something, a, a toy. Uh, you, you remember all that that you experienced. Often they are also associated with uh, famous Disneyland movies, uh, uh, Walt Disney movies and that way uh, you know your picture with the Mickey Mouse or uh, you are uh, shaking your hands with one of the Disney characters. All these are physical evidences that are uh, reminders of the process excellence and the uh, uh, wondrous moments that one uh, uh, goes to these places, uh, uh, gets uh, to feel at these places. So, in service therefore, uh, as opposed to those four P's uh, that we have in uh, marketing mix in case of products, uh, that is uh, product, place, uh, promotion and price. Here, uh, we have three additional points. These three additional points, that is why often we say that there are seven P's in service. Uh, one relates to this uh, physical evidence. That means, the mahol, the environment, uh, uh, the, the air conditioning, 
uh, the availability of uh, uh, you know all conveniences like uh, toilets or drinking water all that looked at as a system uh, creates what we call physical evidence as a marketing mix. Huge investment in people development in creating superior uh, and happy employees creates customer happiness. This, this is a, a mantra in many top service organization that happy employees or employee satisfaction comes first before the customer satisfaction. If you do not, if you have unhappy employees, if you have employees of less caliber, uh, your staff are not well trained, uh, then your value will never be delivered. So, this is the second uh, or, or rather the next part of this three extra P's which is uh, people. And then of course, the entire process is very, very important uh, for marketing of uh, uh, services. A very interesting point is now on your uh, screen and this is uh, from a famous study that was done in Europe and it shows that the companies on the left hand side the two blocks that are showed you see uh, the blue shows the superior service experience and uh, the orange shows less than superior service experience. On the left hand side the two blocks shows what the companies feel. So, the companies felt the same episodes were taken at the same time company people were surveyed and the customers were surveyed in various service uh, uh, domains and uh, various service establishments and at various points of time. So, these surveys were done at restaurants, at hotels, at healthcare establishments at entertainment establishments all different aspects of service. And you can see these between these two that while the companies felt that 80 percent time they delivered uh, superior service, superior experience. But as opposed to that 92 percent of the people felt that they got less than superior or less than satisfactory uh, service. So, see the, the gap, big gap, right. Now, uh, almo almost reversal and that comes from some important, we will discuss these uh, five aspects in great detail uh, at, uh, at later session. Uh, but today as an introductory stage, uh, why these three extra P's come in marketing mix of services, these three extra P's of people, physical evidence and process is because primarily we will discuss there are four aspects here as you see uh, they are often called IHIP or IHIP characteristics that is intangibility, inseparability, heterogeneity and perishability. Uh, I think we will discuss these in detail later on, but I would like to highlight today the reason these three extra P's are necessary in the marketing mix of uh, services is because of this uh, intangibility and to some extent because of the heterogeneity. Heterogeneity says that service is delivered by people and service is consumed by people and inseparability says that it happens almost at the same point of time and place uh, and therefore, human beings have different preconditions. So, the, uh, the service provider is not the same every day, same every moment. The person may have some physical unease, may have some mental worry and therefore, uh, his or her response will, uh, different, will be different at different points of time. Similarly, the customer, the consumer also comes with some preconditions or may have certain mental dispositions as a result of which a particular music concert to one person will be fantastic and to another person will be quite ordinary. The same restaurant meal which is enjoyed by one person with family with good friends uh, 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 in a merry making mode will be termed as an excellent experience. In the, that same restaurant, same point of time another 
um, uh, set of customers who might have been fighting uh, with each other uh, will will remember that as a as a bad episode so this heterogeneity and this thing the high emphasis of feelings perceptions uh, which uh, because of the which occurs due to the intangibility of service create this extra need for uh, investment in physical evidence that means all the environment and all the facilities and all the non core areas um, of service delivery and of the uh, investment in people and their training and so on and the whole process so that what you remember is the best part and all the fault faults or all the uh, the deficiencies are made over so that's why marketing in service uh, is often represented by this uh, famous triangle and it calls it is called external internal and interactive marketing three different ways in the external marketing is between the company and the customer this is the traditional uh, marketing that we have been talking about but these two other are new terms that we are introducing the internal marketing is between the company and the company service uh, front line the service providers this is where the internal <coughs> marketing explains the company's rationale explains new products trains them for uh, new features and new strategies so that all the service providers are at the uh, on the same page as the top management so they uh, they work and play together a lot more in service businesses than in product businesses and lastly between the service provider and customer we will see it in much greater detail when we discuss services marketing as a topic by itself that the because it is heterogeneous because it is perishable uh, because it is intangible service demands much more involvement from the customer it therefore is far more uh, interactive and uh, there are different dimensions to this interactivity uh, <coughs> there are different process uh, strategies by which this interactivity leads to superior excellence all that we will uh, discuss later a great example will be the taj mahal hotel in mumbai um, uh, for customer uh, uh, service and taj mahal hotel you will very seldom see their advertisement taj mahal hotel you will very seldom see uh, discussion about their prices the reason is that taj mahal hotel their service excellence is such and their investment in their people are such that their operational excellence is their marketing they don't have to do marketing as a separate strategy in ensuring their process excellence in ensuring their people excellence in ensuring the excellence of their physical evidence that famous heritage building and all the different things that are inside uh, the superiority of the taste of their food the fantastic restaurants they have the excellent air conditioning the beds the decoration the paintings the artwork inside the hotel all that physical evidence all put together becomes the embodiment of their marketing and when crisis occurs that is when the test of how good their marketing is happens uh, you all know that uh, on 26th november few years back there was a terrorist attack on um, taj mahal hotel and on that day there were various functions happening at various places in that huge hotel and uh, there are excellent uh, case studies that have been published you can go to the internet and find if you just uh, uh, search for taj mahal hotel on 26/11 you will find these very impressive stories uh, facts for example a, a floor manager a banquet manager who was only about 24 years old um, was managing a particular um, uh, dinner for 
high level executives of a famous FMCG company. There were about 45 guests and there were about uh, 8 or 9 people who were um, managing that banquet. When the uh, guns, uh, gunshots uh, uh, were, the first they thought that these were some fireworks, but once they realized that this was a very dangerous terrorist attack happening, these ordinary servers, these young floor managers across that hotel, this is one example, this particular banquet where this uh, young girl managed in such a way putting her own life at risk, she ensured that all these guests who have many of them had come from abroad were safely out of the hotel. And all these other people who worked with her, the servers, they ensured that the guests were safe. So, they really put their life uh, where their uh, mouth is. That means, the declared principles were on display. It happened throughout that hotel, there were I think about uh, more than 50 people who were awarded uh, after that episode. Uh, all these people, some of them were like security people, some of them were like uh, uh, room service people, some of them were like housekeeping people, ordinary employees at various levels of their hierarchy. They were all superior in responding to the crisis putting their customer first. And these episodes, they do not have to be advertised. People talk about them and that is what we call in uh, services marketing most important, customer advocacy. That means, customer becomes part of your marketing process. Customer does more marketing for you and that is obviously far more valuable than your advertisement or your TV clips. So, here is an example, uh, in fact, I rather ex discussed with you two examples, uh, the Disney World, uh, the Disneyland and Taj Mahal Hotel, both show that by ensuring process excellence, people excellence and excellence of physical evidence, they ensure that they are more preferred, highly preferred by customers. So, their marketing succeeds because of their operational excellence and this is the difference uh, in uh, services marketing as opposed to product marketing. Uh, I think uh, uh, we will take next couple of minutes to yeah. conclude on this introductory part and uh, we can discuss about uh, uh, that how marketing is uh, changing. Yeah. Or perhaps I think we will uh, take it up in the next, uh, session. next session. The next session, let us devote it to this whole issue about uh, how marketing is evolving, what is new in marketing. Marketing as a subject uh, perhaps uh, came in prominence after the Second World War. Yeah. So, it means uh, almost Evolution. 50, uh, about 60 years of history or 70 years of history is there for marketing. And, uh, in this 60, 70 years, how marketing has changed? Is today's marketing different from the marketing of uh, early 20th century or late 20th century? That is what we will discuss in the next session. So, I will just conclude what uh, we have understood from this session and what Professor Chatterjee has discussed today. Instead of 4 P's, we have 7 P's in the case of services marketing. Besides this uh, 4P of product, pro product price, place and promotion in products, you have three additional P's in the case of services marketing, that is people, process and physical evidences. And from the, where they are coming from, they are coming because of the innate differences between the product and the services. So, those four differences that is intangibility, inseparability, heterogeneity and perishability actually brings out some of the glaring differences between the product and the services, that services are more in intangible in nature, their production and consumption happens at the same point of time and that is why the role of the customer as well as the employees who probably manage those customers and their experiences 
have a very important role in the services and that is where the people come into the picture. And because of this heterogeneity, there is a probably the customer experiences varies. So, it is very important to probably specify the service level and try to standardize the service experience. So, that customers experience the same level of service time and again and last difference was perishability, which was about if services are not consumed at a particular point of time when they are produced, then in many of the cases or most of the cases th that capacity goes in into the waste. So, these are three important differences uh, are the additional piece in the case of services. We would like to give you an, uh, uh, an assignment on till now what we have discussed. So, maybe you can take one product or the service which is successful or uh, as, failure. as well as failure and just give five in five bullet points explain what are the basically the causes or the reason of their success or failure and try to understand those points in the context of what we have discussed till now. And I think you can post uh, in the forum uh, these uh, your examples. So, as Professor Mishra explained, you choose either a product or a service and in each case it can be a failed product or a successful product, failed service or a successful service and in 5, 6 bullet points you explain the uh, cause of um, failure or cause of success and uh, in the context of the points that we have discussed. So, uh, in the next session yeah. uh, we are going to discuss about this history of uh, evolution of modern marketing concept and then we will also discuss about what are the different products that are marketed. So, we talked about physical goods, services and what are the other forms of the product that are marketed and then we will also talk about in the next session and the next two session how basically marketing is changing and what are the basically forces that are shaping the modern day marketing practices. Thank you very much.